I'm not sure combat gear is necessary. Which is exactly why you and Dolin are on food duty instead. Don't take it personally, but... Like it or not, after what we experienced with Jim, we can't be too careful. Even you sustained an injury there, remember? It just feels wrong to me, you know? Fighting should never be the answer. Just last week, Baldy Von British smacked the shit out of you behind closed doors. I most certainly did not! Not you! I meant Mr. Wrongschild. Oh, yes, of course. What's your point? Punching him back wouldn't have made things any better. Not all combat gear is weapons, you know. At the end of the day, we need to be able to defend ourselves. I don't know. Look, nobody's gonna make you fight, but at least one of us needs to be ready if things get tense again. Okay, okay. Just nothing too dangerous, please. I promise. Now, you have your lists, and you have your funds. Get what we need, and meet back at the ship in an hour. Right! Wow, this stuff is great! I haven't had to wash anything all day! Yes, it is convenient that these little pieces of interwoven fabric could have so much worth. But it's important to remember what John said. People can become over-dependent on this money, and they can get them in a lot of trouble. Yeah, I know, but things are so much easier this way. I get why it's so popular out here. But, uh, hey, speaking of things that John said, at first, John wanted you to go with him and for Steven to go with me. But I asked him if we could switch because I wanted to get to know you better and maybe ask you something. What did you want to ask? I, um, well, uh, I thought that, um, well, I, uh... And you and, uh, I, um... Do you mind? I, uh, if you don't want me to, I can know. It's okay, go ahead. Did you see it? It's a thought. Not a sight, but yes, I understand. And... I would love to- Forgive me for interrupting, my homo sapien friends. But it would appear the two of you are engaging in some manner of human romance, yes? Oh, uh, well... Fantastic! Good for you! It's always nice to see you humans doing your human things. But you must feel pretty vulnerable, sharing such a tender moment surrounded by all us foreigners. Oh. Well, actually... Wouldn't you be interested in a cozy venue in which to celebrate your human relations? What do you mean? We happen to have a lovely ballroom available for rent for a measly... $47. $47? But that's almost all we have! Oh. I see. Hey, no, wait, I... I... What is this feeling? To help? Why? Why would they be... Cheech, just forget it, Lex. Clearly our stuff isn't good enough for these humans. Wait, that, that's not it at all! No, no, we get it. I guess we'll just... go. No, no, it's okay. We'll take it. You will? Yeah, uh... I'm sure it's very nice. We'd like to see it. Well then, it's about time! Right this way, folks! Dolan, are you sure about this? No, I panicked, I'm sorry. 
I just didn't want them to think we thought we were too good for them. It's okay. If you didn't say yes, I was gonna. But don't worry about it. Let's just make the most of it. Maybe it'll be nice. This is nice. Yeah. I hope John doesn't mind us using so much of his money. I'm sure he won't mind. He's just paper after all. But don't worry about that. I just want to enjoy our time together. <laughs> 